Pasco County students were supposed to be in school this week, but classes were delayed until August 24th. Now, United School Employees of Pasco is filing a lawsuit to prevent the district from doing any in person classes at all. Aid on Your Science, Christine McClarty joins us live at the school district headquarters. Christine, what can you tell us about this? So this building is where school board meetings usually happen. The most recent in-person one as of last Tuesday. But not everyone's happy with the decisions being made here. A group representing more than 8,000 teachers and support staff in the county are taking these decisions to court. The school board has stated repeatedly that they are between a rock and a hard place due to the funding issue. Toward that end, USEP has filed for an injunction which would allow an all virtual reopening of schools. Don Peace is the president of United School Employees of Pasco. He tells Aid on Your Side they filed this injunction at the Pasco Circuit Court Tuesday. Their goal is full virtual school until there's a 14 day downward trend in positive COVID cases and 5% or less district wide percentage of cases. Students are back, uh, due back the 24th, two weeks. So people are uh, increasingly concerned. Not everyone is worried. As far as closing down public schools, I don't think that's acceptable. Ashley Minnie says she had family impacted by COVID and knows it's serious. However, she made a joint decision with her kids, 8 and 13, that in-person school is best. She says if the lawsuit goes through, she will not be happy. I mean, it would bother me. Because I feel like, again, we're impacting the way we live for COVID-19. Peace says they just need time. We are just asking for some time to let the numbers come down. Now, we reached out to the school district for reaction to the lawsuit, and they said they're unable to react to any pending litigation, and they had no further comment at this time. Again, as of now, school starts August 24th. Back to you. And, Christine, were you able to speak with teachers about this at all? Yeah, we actually spoke with one teacher today. She's very conflicted. She is sending her actual student, she has a child of her own that she's sending back to school, yet she's really on board with the virtual start. We'll explain what that means coming up at 6. All right, Christine, thank you.